David, this is Guardians of the Green Bray. How you doing? Hello? You emailed Guardians of the Green Bray, so we're reaching out? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, what can I help you with? Well, you emailed us. I figured I'd give you a call and answer any questions. You said you were uh, SOT A? Yeah, so back in the 90s, uh, I was a 98 series, and I volunteered uh, to go to group, and I was a SOT A. Um, I got injured in airborne school, went on to this group, and uh, served on a SOT A there for, I don't know, probably two and a half or three years, I guess. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, an amazing experience. There's there's certainly no doubt about that. Yeah. Um, I, I actually think your total time in fifth group was two years, three months, 29 days. Hello? Yeah, you still there? Yeah. You said three years. Your your total time was two years, three months, and twenty nine days. Yeah, ninety eight to oh one. I'm do, I'm I'm doing calendar years. I, I'm you know. Yeah. What was your SOT eighteen number in battalion? Hello. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I live in a very remote area. It's kind of hard to hear you. Yeah, what was your SOT 18 number and battalion? Oh, God, I couldn't, I couldn't even tell you that. Um, God, that was, that was 25 years ago. Um, the reason I say that, do you, do you have some names of guys you served with on the uh, your SOT 18? Um, yeah, there was a guy named Tim Faulkner. Yep. Um, the reason I say that, we're in contact with some guys that served back in the day. Okay. I was talking to somebody who did about 15 years in SOT A, and he told me that a 98 Delta would not be SOT A. And I said, well, he was in uh, headquarters. He got hurt in Airborne in 1998, medical drop from Airborne in 98, and he stopped me right there. And so, well, end of subject. You have to be airborne to be SOT-8. There's, there's no wiggle room. You have to be airborne qualified to be SOT-A. So, I don't think you were SOT-A. Oh, I, I was definitely SOT-A. Well. There's no doubt about it. It was a, it was a four-man team. Um, it was uh, 98 series. Uh, there were... Uh, linguists with me. Um, yeah, on I your we were, we were well, um, on your ahead. on your resume, you actually claim to be a special forces communication sergeant. <laughs> well, that's so much bullshit. You, that's claiming to be an eighteen Echo Green Beret. There's no wiggle room there. No, no, no. That's all I was trying to convey there was that I had served in a group. That my job was communications and I was a sergeant. There was no implication whatsoever to allude to the fact that I was anything other than someone who served in a group. No oh. illusions of Green Beret or anything like that. Okay, now, I, and I appreciate your discussion on this. What about, under oath, 49 months in combat? You were zero months in combat. No combat action badge, no campaign ribbons. You spent 41 months overseas in Korea, Hungary, and Germany, but that does not equate as 49 months in combat. Yeah, that's a misquote for me, and I should have went back on my errata yeah. and changed that. What I was trying to convey was um, all of my time spent overseas in foreign duty, and I, I don't remember what they called it. Um, but they didn't call it combat. Were you misquoted when you called yourself a senior NCO, not once, but twice that we know of, once on your resume, and once under oath. What I'm trying to convey is the highest ranking position that I held 
in the United States military. That's all I'm trying to... Uh, which, which, I'm which, was, which was a staff sergeant, which is not a senior NCO. Yes. When you were under oath, you claimed four years MI and six years SF. You were not six years SF. You were two years, no, three months... Again, this, yes. Again, this is 25 years ago. I'm In my head, I'm thinking 92 to 01. You know, this is, this is a very long time ago. Well, I mean, there's a big difference between just over two years and six years. <laughs> you know, I don't care how long ago it is. Absolutely. That is completely my mistake, and I... Hello? Not about that. Well, I'm sorry you said it was your mistake, and what? I, I said that's, that is my mistake, and I, I eat that all day long. Yeah, what, no doubt about that. I, I would talk to a guy that was actually... Legit sought A because I don't believe you're sought A. That's you know he he's asking around. There's guys in fifth group that served between the years October 10th, 1998, and January 1st of 2001. That was a very small community. And when I under oath, you said as a member of special forces, what were your assignments? And you say it was classical unconventional warfare. He laughed at that statement. You were a 98 Delta. Didn't you sit in a van? A Morse interceptor. No, we were, we were out in GMVs. We were out with man-packable equipment. We were either deployed with uh, and attached to an ODA, or we were um, uh, sent out by ourselves uh, with other SADES to engage in that type of activity. Yep. Anybody in group. Anybody attached to group, anybody assigned to group, knows beyond any other shadow of a doubt that when you say Special Forces Communications Sergeant, you actually say you were an Arabic translator from 92 to 03. You weren't even in the service in 03. You got out in the beginning of 01. What, what did you yeah, do that's between... A, that's a mis Every, another mistake? That's a, that's a mistake. Yes, that's a that's a typo mistake <laughs> on there that I should have fixed, and that is that is my mistake. There's no doubt about that. A whole lot of them under oath. When you say four years MI, six years SF, that's pretty exact. Yeah, I'm thinking in my head from ninety two to one. I'm I'm just thinking calendar years. You know, these questions are coming uh, rapid fire. Look, I I make no. Uh, uh, I make no excuses for my mistakes. There's no doubt about it. You yeah. know, um, I should have I should have been far more diligent in looking at my military record. Um, but this is something that I never thought. I mean, when I left the military, I wasn't going back. It wasn't something that I ever thought would come up. What would you say if we talked to people that actually served with you, served with you, or worked with you? I'm sorry. And they said you bragged about uh, how hard selection was. Selection was more mental than physical. Your words. Multiple times. They were instructors with you. Are you calling yeah, all of those guys a liar? What I'm thinking is going on here, and this is what I told... Uh, I had to be interviewed about this. And I said, I think what's happening is people are conflating military service with some other people's military service. Well, I talk to these people personally, okay? Because what we usually do is we receive an email, and then I ask them to call me, and I pick their brain. And I say, now listen, did he claim special forces, or did he claim to be a Green Beret? You have to be exact here. They would say he claimed special forces communication sergeant. That came out of your mouth. That's not, you can't say that. That means you're an 18 Echo Green Beret. That was more than one person. And they also said that he remembers beyond doubt you claiming to have completed selection because you said it was more of a mind game than physical. I could reach back out to him and tell him that you're saying he's full of shit, but more than one person said that. 
I got a guy that said you were an investigator on a special forces team down in Grenada. Is that a lie? You got to be kidding. No, that's bullshit. Well, the, the, what you can that, do... That, that would be... Okay. You can take that up with them because those... The, we we got to move forward. I know beyond any shadow of a doubt you claim to be a Green Beret. Okay? Beyond a shadow of doubt. Uh, you know what, when you proofread your resume, there's not one thing in your resume that says SAW 8, because you were alluding to the fact that you were a Green Beret. When they asked you under oath, and you alluded your standard guerrilla, unconventional warfare, or guerrilla, whatever you said, guerrilla warfare, you were alluding to being a Green Beret. You weren't alluding to SAW 8, and you never once did you say SAW 8 until your initial email to us on your resume why didn't it say that you were two years three months 29 days sought a instead of special forces communication sergeant for six years you knew you, everybody writes their resume they proofread it they correct any omissions and errors they go back and looked at at dates of service and units you know what you were saying i was speaking in general terms. Uh, how many times under oath did you fabricate or misstate or mislead? You weren't a senior NCO. You weren't 49 months in combat. You weren't six years SF. You weren't an SF Arabic translator. You know, c classic unconventional warfare, that statement. How did you get so many mistakes in one sworn testimony? This, these, are, these are simply broad-based terms is what I was trying to speak in. And every, you know, I should have went back and I should have read that errata form and I should have went back and corrected those mistakes. That is completely on me. I, I am not making any excuses or any illusions for that. All right. There's not a single picture. There's not a single document. There's not a single anything that shows me stating that I'm a Green Beret or alludes to me being a Green Beret. Sure, sure there is. Simply conveying... Uh, on your resume, when you, say, when you say Special Forces Communication Sergeant, why didn't you say simply that you were a 98 Delta Morse Interceptor, which you were? That would have been truthful. Speak in, I'm trying to speak in general terms. What I served in, the job I did, and the and but, I was a non-commissioned officer. But you were not you were not, you did not do the job of a Special Forces Communication Sergeant. That is an 18 Echo no. and nothing more, nothing less. You knew what you were doing. What's that? I said, I said, I understand you. But all I was trying to convey was the unit that I served in, the job that I did, and that I was a non-commissioned officer. There's, well, there's but, nothing else. But you didn't do the job as a of a special forces communication sergeant. That's what I'm getting at. <laughs> you, 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 are, you are you are you are you broke up. Speaking in general terms. I'm sorry. I was just speaking in general terms of but, what people could understand. That's all. Well, you could have spoken general terms and say you were a Morse interceptor. That's general terms, you're, but it's the truth. You're, you're exactly right. I could have, I could have changed one word, and it would have changed the entire connotation of that. Well, you could have changed a lot of words. You could have not said you were 49 months in combat, or a senior NCO, or an SF communications sergeant, or six years SF, or an SF Arabic translator, or classic unconventional warfare. Uh, you could have left all that stuff out because those were all mistakes. Correct. Those are all general terms. General terms. That's well, they it, are. I don't it, think it, you it, could... General I, terms for people to understand. Well, I don't think you could use general terms under oath. I think you have to use the truth under oath. I was simply speaking in general terms. Again, all right. that's uh, my mistake. Yep. I should have been extremely precise in what I did. Yep. You know, but this is 25 plus years ago. Yeah. Never thought any of this would come up. I didn't even think it really had any bearing yeah. on what I was doing. I talked to guys that worked with you, and they were always under the impression they were dealing with the Green Beret. 
because you never corrected them. And you, why did you talk talk to a guy and tell him how hard selection was? Was that a lie? What I told people was when they when they asked me where did you serve, I said I served in his special forces. Oh, were you a Green Beret? No, I was not a long caver. I served on something called a sod A. Over a 15-year period, I think what's happened is people are playing on words. I think people are misquoting things. I was asked if I was ever blown up in a dune buggy, and I said, that's not me. You're conflating that with another person. You saw it 18. How do you forget that? You know, you were only there uh, two years. There was, a, there was a guy named Tim Faulkner. There was a guy named um, Mike Hamilton. Um... I cannot remember the other name. Uh, Stone, I think, was his last name. Um, there was a guy named uh, Matt Lapine, but I think he was a analyst. I don't think he was a. Uh, I don't think he was a linguist or anything like that. Um, How do you overcome the absolute need to be airborne qualified? To be sought, hey, I could send you the standard if you want. And you weren't. You were a medical drop-in when you went to uh, jump school. Yes. We also had other non-airborne qualified. I mean, my, our sergeant first class, it was, uh, he was not a sought A. He was, um... Yeah, he, he wasn't was sought A because he wasn't airborne. You got to be airborne and you weren't. No. But I was on a sod A. All right. I deployed with them. I was in the truck with them all the time. I mean, that four-person group was what we were and what we did. Now, we have to claim that you did indeed claim to be a Green Bray Special Forces Communications Sergeant. That's the worst typo, the worst typo ever. You should have claimed that you were a 98 Delta, what is it, Morse Interceptor? Um, no, that, uh, that's a different than all the past. Well, I got your records right here. <laughs> finding was, direction finding was the, uh, was the 98 Deltas. You, they have you on your 2-1, multiple, you were a emitter locator identifier. Well, then that's what we'll go with. That's what you should have put on your resume. Well, I am sorry that this has blown up. You're breaking up again, brother. Correct. I think I can. Um, you broke up, Eric. Eh? You, you broke up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I, well, for the ambiguity, I guess, is what, what, is what I'll say. Um... I think I was not I'm, trying to connotate myself as anything other than what I did. I was speaking nothing more in general terms yeah. uh, that people would understand. I, again, it is my mistake for what I had testified under oath, and I was given an opportunity to go back and read it and change it. Um, and I got caught up in the daily uh, challenges of life. How many and other t- How many other down. times have you said that under oath? I've never, I've never had to say it under oath. Yep. All right, we're going to move on. And uh, I might wait for the Sade A guy to get back and give me his opinion. All I know... Who, um, could, you, could you do me a favor? Could you tell me who the Sade A guy was? I'll ask him if he wants... Usually we don't give any names whatsoever. Even if they ask to be mm-hmm. named, we make it standard operating procedures to keep everybody anonymous i'll reach out to him and follow up with you maybe get a a second phone call after he reaches back out to us he's reaching out to a guy that was in sot a in fifth group for years and years and years and your two years three months and 29 days falls under his time in service while he was there okay all right i'll follow up once they get back all right, well, you know what? I appreciate the phone call, and I appreciate you guys. Uh, I'm, I'm apologetic about the situation and the ambiguity. Um, I should have been far more specific, and I am uh, sorry that the uh, adjectives and word conjugation uh, 
has a different meaning for you guys. Uh, well, but, well, it, well, it, uh, it, 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 it's it's not for us guys. If you, it, it's not for us guys. If you Google Special Forces Communication Sergeant, I'm guessing, and I haven't Googled it right now, but I'm guessing almost every single link comes up that it's an 18 Echo, somebody who has successfully completed both selection and the Q course. Okay? That, that's, I'm sure it does. Yeah, there's no... I was writing this resume 16 years ago. Well, and you knew what... just putting down lies. what I had done. Yep. I, wasn't, I wasn't looking up someone's MOF, and I wasn't trying to put my MOF. I was just speaking in general terms. Yep. But again, that's my fault. Yep. Right? I eat that all day long. Yep. There's all no doubt about that. Yep. All right, I'm going to uh, continue mission, and when the uh, Sade guy gets back, I will follow up with you. All right, All right now. Phone call. Yep, Take now. Care of yourself. Yep.